Have you ever heard that a dead whale can be a ticking time bomb? It may sound like a dramatic exaggeration, but there's a lot of truth to this statement. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating and dangerous world of decomposing whales and why you should never, ever touch one. First, let's talk about what happens when a whale dies. As with any living creature, when a whale passes away, its body begins to decompose. The decomposition process is a natural and essential part of the ecosystem, but when it comes to whales, things can get a bit explosive, literally. As a whale's body decomposes, the bacteria within its gut start producing various gases, such as methane and other nitrogen-based gases. These gases accumulate within the carcass, causing it to expand like a massive balloon. The pressure inside the whale builds up, and if there's no release, it could result in an explosion. If you happen to be near a dead whale when it explodes, the consequences can be catastrophic, with flying debris potentially causing severe injuries or even fatalities. There have been several cases of dead whales exploding and wreaking havoc. In 2004, a sperm whale carcass exploded in Taiwan while being transported on a truck. The incident sent blood, blubber, and whale guts flying across the streets, damaging nearby cars and storefronts. In another instance, in 2013, marine biologists in the Faroe Islands had a close call when a sperm whale carcass they were dissecting suddenly exploded, releasing a torrent of guts and gas. Continuing with real examples of dead whale explosions, we can look back to November 1970 when a 45-foot sperm whale washed ashore near Florence, Oregon. In a bizarre attempt to dispose of the carcass, the Oregon Highway Division decided to use half a ton of dynamite to blow up the whale. The explosion sent large chunks of blubber and whale parts flying through the air, damaging cars and causing a rain of whale remains. This incident became infamous, serving as a cautionary tale about the potential dangers of dealing with a dead whale. In 2005, South Africa experienced a notable event when a 15-meter-long southern right whale carcass washed up on a Cape Town beach. In this particular case, authorities determined that the whale could not be saved and decided to follow the International Whaling Commission's recommendations by using explosives to dispose of the carcass. On September 14, 2005, they carried out a controlled detonation to eliminate the whale's remains. While no one was injured in the process, the explosion resulted in a messy aftermath that required hours of cleanup. Given the risk of explosion, it's vital to maintain a safe distance from a dead whale. Experts recommend staying at least 100 meters away from the carcass to avoid injury from an unexpected explosion or the inhalation of gases. This distance also helps ensure that you don't disturb the scavengers that are feeding on the carcass. Besides the risk of explosion, the foul smell emanating from a dead whale can be hazardous to your health. The gases produced during decomposition, particularly hydrogen sulfide, can cause dizziness, headaches, and respiratory problems if inhaled in high concentration. Hydrogen sulfide can also damage your sense of smell, making it difficult to detect its presence. Now let's briefly touch on the risk of disease transmission, which is another crucial reason to avoid contact with a dead whale. Whales, like all animals, can carry various pathogens, including bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Some of these pathogens can cause severe illness in humans, such as brucellulosis and leptospirosis. The decomposition process turns the dead whale's body into a breeding ground for harmful microorganisms, which can multiply rapidly in the carcass. In addition to the risks mentioned above, there are other dangers associated with dead whales that you may not have considered. For instance, the presence of a whale carcass on a beach can attract various predators such as sharks. If you venture too close to the carcass, you could inadvertently put yourself in harm's way by entering the feeding grounds of these dangerous creatures. Moreover, the environmental impact of a decomposing whale is a significant factor to consider. When a whale carcass decomposes, the nutrients from its body, such as nitrogen and phosphorus, are released into the surrounding environment. While this might seem beneficial at first glance, as it can provide an essential nutrient burst for some marine organisms, it can also lead to harmful algal blooms, commonly known as red tides. These events occur when the rapid growth of algae, spurred by the influx of nutrients, produces toxins that can be harmful to both marine life and humans. Red tides can devastate local ecosystems, leading to massive die-offs of fish and other aquatic organisms, which can further exacerbate the problem by contributing more nutrients to the water. Additionally, 
Marine mammals such as dolphins and sea lions may also be affected by the toxins produced during these events, leading to disorientation, illness, or even death. In some cases, the sheer size and weight of a dead whale can pose a danger to those nearby. Whales are among the largest animals on Earth, with some species weighing as much as 200 tons. If a whale carcass shifts or rolls unexpectedly, it could crush or trap a person beneath its immense mass. Therefore, it's crucial to exercise extreme caution and maintain a safe distance from these massive carcasses. To mitigate the risks associated with dead whales, it's essential to have trained professionals handle the situation. Marine biologists, wildlife experts, and other specialists are equipped with the knowledge, skills, and tools necessary to safely deal with a decomposing whale carcass. They can assess the risks and implement appropriate measures to prevent potential hazards, including controlled release of gases, proper disposal, and the protection of the public. The dangers surrounding a dead whale are numerous, ranging from the risk of explosion to the potential for disease transmission and the attraction of predators. Given these hazards, it's crucial to avoid contact with dead whales and to leave their management to qualified professionals. If you ever encounter a dead whale, remember to appreciate its majesty from a safe distance, report the sighting to the appropriate authorities, and allow them to take care of the situation using their expertise. By doing so, you'll not only ensure your own safety, but also help maintain the balance of our marine ecosystems.